Gather round, children. It's time for Lessons in Humility. I recorded a video yesterday night and didn't bother looking at it until this morning. And I absolutely don't like what I did. So in order to be able to get a video up today, I have to unfortunately come to this idyllic setting and record during my lunch hour because I'm not going to be able to get to my studio tonight and be able to shoot and edit in time before midnight. I sure learned my lesson. Gorgeous out here. Little known fact about me, I don't watch the news. I specifically never watch the news because I can't handle the news. I can't handle all that negative, all the bad, basically everything that the news reports for the most part is bad. And I, I'm not very good at holding on to that because I take it very personally, even if it doesn't involve anything that's personal to me. But sometimes stuff through social media and other platforms seeps into my knowing. And I always find it interesting, and, and not just with stuff in the news, but with life in general, how people always tend to think there is one answer, there is one solution for any of the things that are wrong with the world today. And I am not specifically a Buddhist, but I definitely believe that balance is the answer. It's not all about the heart, it's not all about the head, it's not this is absolutely the answer or this is absolutely the answer. It is all of those things combined. It is the heart, it is the head, it, it's, it's all of those things. And I think what I'm curious about, and maybe somebody can shed a little bit of light on this for me, is why people do these extremes. Why people think that it has to be all this or all that. And that there is one magic answer. There is one magic pill that solves all of our problems. What, what is that? Because I can see how it is this and it is that. And with those, with their powers combined, we can solve these problems and that there's always going to be problems. There's always going to be darkness in the world. And without that darkness, there cannot be a light. And without light, there cannot be darkness. All right, scene change. Uh, somebody decided that they were going to sit on the bench right next to me and I am definitely not comfortable enough in my vlog abilities to vlog right next to a random Pennsylvanian. Maybe if I was in a state where that was more common, I wouldn't mind, but I'm pretty sure I'm like one of the only vloggers in the entire state, at least the part that I live in. Anyway, moving along. I don't understand why people can't see that life is light and dark. Life is good and evil. Life is both not just on a on a dichotomy like this. And it's not just about, you know, the the yin yang, though that is part of it. But it is about finding that balance between the extremes because I've always found that when I do go to extremes one way or the other that's when my life gets out of whack and thing bad things start happening either way I mean if I if I spend too much time with something that I love I find myself consuming too much of it and then it becomes a bad thing or if I find myself not doing enough of something then that becomes a bad thing. I understand it's not an easy thing to do, but I don't understand why it's not an easy concept for people to accept. I did stay on the bench that I was on and enjoy the view, which, I mean, look at that view. It's gorgeous. I am grateful for it. It's a beautiful day outside. Find balance in all things. Or some cheesy phrase that's actually accurate. The cheesy phrases are 
the most accurate. That's an interesting concept. It's true though. All right, I'm gonna be done talking now. I hope that you all have a lovely weekend and we'll see what happens next week. Bye. One thing I forgot to mention really quick, um, tomorrow I am doing a Google Hangout. I have been putting this off for like days and days and days and days and days. I've known about it for probably two weeks now and I keep forgetting to mention it and I don't know why. But I'm doing a Google Hangout tomorrow. If you know what a Google Hangout is, cool. If you want to come, let me know. If you don't know what a Google Hangout is, uh, Google it. <laughs> Sorry. But basically it's going to be for the people that can't make it to NerdCon that same day. It'll be The NerdCon will be the same day as my Google Hangout, but my Google Hangout will be at 9 o'clock. And if you want to come, we're going to do some storytelling and we're going to talk about how we would like to be there and maybe do a little bit of, um, I don't know, there might be some periscoping from somebody that is there, that is able to go, maybe, hopefully, I don't know. But if you're interested and you want to come and Google hang out with me tomorrow, Friday, 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, let me know in the social medias, um, and if you don't follow me on the social medias, follow me on the social medias. I'll put them on the screen in case you don't already. Um, let me know and I'll send you the link and you can Google Hangout and talk about uh, storytelling. Okay, bye.